Good evening everyone, hope you're all keeping safe and well. So today's video is a uh, request build and it was a shipping container as requested by Fallout Gamer. So the size of this, um, I didn't want it square, so I did the sides and uh, the uh, entrances at like two and a half inches and the top and bottom were at two inches. And the length of this was four inches. And as you can see here, I just used my hot glue gun and made sure all the angles were square. Then, yeah, lots of hot glue, just <laughs> ensuring it was a very good tight bond. I thought about using tacky glue, but yeah, hot glue was quicker. Now, corrugated cardboard is normally quite expensive for some reason. But I managed to find a pack of uh, 20, I believe it was, on eBay for £2.79. A really random price, but I wasn't complaining. So I just laid the shipping container down and marked out where it needed to cut. And for the ends, I just used thick, well, thin card for the doors. Then to attach the corrugated card to the sides and top, I just used normal PVA. And for the banding and around the sides, again, I just used card. This was quite thin card and just a regular Pritt stick. And I did the same for the sides of the door as well. As you can see it's all coming together looking very nice. I was really happy with the end result on this. Then I just wanted something to put some water slide decals on. I got these on eBay um, for about three pound. There was lots of lots of choices and for the door again just using thin card I was just layering it up one on top of the other just to make it bring out the detail on the door. Then using some brass rod, I just cut that to size. I uh, I did actually break my clippers doing this, so if you're cutting this, just use eye protection. Then to weather it, I just used the super glue and baking powder trick. And once you smother that on it kind of looks like like rust and dirt so i just did that all over the the uh, brass rods and i also <clears throat> went over the um the rest of the shipping container in certain places like the the top and corners and stuff where you know rust would naturally build up well where i thought rust would naturally build up i guess rust will build up anyway it was, it's rusty Okay folks, I'm just about to um, get the airbrush out and paint this, but I just wanted to show you something, my little workaround. I mean, it's probably been done before, but my first airbrush, it was one of these really cheap ones that came with this um, mini air compressor. You can recharge it through there, but the airbrush that came with it, um, it wasn't very good. The, uh, the needle broke and yeah it was just all wrong but I thought I'll keep this because you know it's pretty handy it, it does give good pressure then eventually <clears throat> I did buy this airbrush which came with one of those little plug-in compressors again not the massive ones just the little cheap red button press it on Normally come in white, this one was black, and it was a much better airbrush, but from the bit you connect the hose to, it wouldn't fit onto this. But as I said, from this old one, I kept all the old stuff, and with it was this little connector, so all I did was just connect that one up then this one fits into this nicely. I 
And as you can see, the air pressure is really good. So yeah, if you do get one of these and the airbrush breaks, keep hold of this and all the bits. Then it can just connect up to your regular airbrush. Okay guys, on with the airbrushing, just wanted to show you that. Yeah, just to clarify, um, if the airbrush and the that black box or white box compressor breaks, which it did for me after a single use, but the um, the rechargeable one, amazingly, it's just really good and served me well. So yeah, keep hold of that and all the bits you get with the kit, and if the other one breaks, at least at least you have a decent airbrush, but you know, with a, a spare compressor. So yeah, anyway, these uh, water slide decals were purchased on eBay for three pound. And here is the final result. And there we have it, folks. The finished shipping container. I'm really happy with it. Uh, the only thing is, yes, I, I'd prefer if these water slide transfers came off as cleanly as these did but still I like them they go on really well and the whole thing looks really good and weathered so yes this was a request build so thank you to Fallout Gamer for the request on this um, for these request builds I'm not um, going to stop them completely, but they will be uh, few and far between as my channel grows. I'm slowly, very slowly, uh, building up my supporters on Patreon. So the um, request builds will move more into Patreon territory. But don't worry, I will still be doing build requests. They will just be... Um, few and far between so just be aware of that but yes I still enjoy making them I hope you enjoy watching them so yeah just let me know in the comments what you think if you're not subscribed please do so don't forget to hit that notification bell you will never miss a thing and at the end of this as ever I will just do a few close-up pictures so you can see more of the detail and the signs and the like, weathering I've done and I would just like to give a quick shout out to my patrons you are really helping this channel grow and you know ensuring I can do this full time okay guys once again thanks for watching just let me know in the comments what you think I will see you next time Bye for now.